Why does culture matter? The worst qualities of humanity will win. So the, like the traits of employees that are not to the values that I want will take over mm-hmm. and never. So for example, my right hand man, Dustin is fiery and scares the shit out of everybody. And I don't want a culture of fear. I want a culture of love. I, I want Jesus to win. I don't want a culture of fear at all. Have you ever read Power Versus Force? You will love that book. Uh, there's a chart and it shows it shows like the rating of all of these human traits. Oh. And love is up here and fear is down here. And fear is a force, love is a power. So I want to use power instead of force. When Jesus came back uh, after his resurrection, he found his apostles, including Peter, and they were back fishing. And he he's like, cast your net on the other side. He comes back. They're like, oh my gosh, it's you. And then he's like, Peter, do you love me? Peter's like, yeah, thou Lord, thou knowest I love you. They continue their conversation. Second time, Peter, do you love me? He's like, I don't understand why you're asking me this, but yeah, you know I love you. Third time, probably half hour later in the conversation, who knows? He asks, Peter, do you love me? And I'm sure Peter had to like, like really internalize it, sink deep in him, and and like really actually think about the question because you know it's the second time he's been asked three questions by Christ in a week. You know, last time it was about denying him, and and so he's like, yeah, Lord, thou knowest you love me. So then Jesus said, then feed my sheep. If I if I needed fishermen. I would have called fishermen. Why are we back on the same shore of when I first met you? I need you to go out there and feed my sheep. And what he meant was go serve the people worldwide, go on missions, spread the gospel, right? Mm. So Jesus was able to do something that I want to replicate as best as I can as an imperfect human being. And that is build something that outlives me. And culture is the best way to build and a powerful force, a powerful entity that can help mankind long after I'm dead. I believe that we have to do something that can outlive me or it's meaningless. I will not find meaning from just buying a mansion. Yes, I'm, I'm rich. Yes, I have possessions. But like, I want what I built the company to outlive me.